Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is here with another episode of my Skyrim playthrough. We're going to go ahead and pick up right where we left off in the last episode, where we are essentially doing our first set of contracts for the Dark Brotherhood um, storyline there, the faction, uh, the assassin faction. Um, this gets a little bit darker, so if you, I don't know if you want to watch that or not, but it does get, you're basically, all the missions are involved with assassinations and whatnot, so... Um, just of locals around Skyrim, and it kind of ups the ante as you go through, but we're set, starting off with our first contract kills, um, and we're just going to move on from there. So it looks like we have someone called Beetild, I don't know how to really pronounce that, a uh, person that lives in Dawnstar, the mine boss there. We have Enodius Papias, who's an ex-miller at Angus Mill, um, and we have, uh, let's see here, someone, a uh, beggar, Narfi, in Iverstead. We'll go ahead and start off with the beggar Narfi in Iverstead, which is the, the town below the Greybeards. Um, but let's go ahead, and before we do that, let's go ahead and meet all of our... Uh, Nazir was the one that gave us the missions. We met him at the end of the last episode. Let's go ahead and kind of investigate this area and kind of see who's... what, well, You know, kind of see what it's all about and uh, see what the... Uh, other members are like it looks like there's some quarters here it looks like uh, eating quarters over here um, we also I guess I'll show that as well that's the wrong menu we got some armor but I'm not gonna really use it but it gets uh, shrouded armor that's a uh, Poison resistance, muffled boots, a shrouded cow, which is uh, the Dark Brotherhood armor. It's pretty cool. So it's uh, actually pretty good armor if you do this at lower levels. It's pretty, uh, really good armor. Um, but I'm like level 42 at this point, and I got my tricked out armor uh, that have multiple enchantments on them, magicka and bow. So I'm going to go ahead and just wear my stuff. But it is pretty cool how they have faction armor. Let's go ahead and talk to somebody around here, see if we can't get involved. Hello, lady. I didn't know if this will improve me or not. Nope. Who are you? There you are. Bobbit. Ashes told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Ah, uh, I love that one. Are you a vampire lady? It's nice to meet you, Babbitt. You're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun, and we look out for each other, just like any family. Well, can you tell me about yourself? I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? <laughs> In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, 300 years ago. The vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. <laughs> wow, so you were a 12-year-old uh, vampire. Festus yes, Crex. Yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to. You go your way, I'll go my. <laughs> Tell uh, me about yourself. Like say I was born with a wand in my hand. Well, not literally. You could see how painful that would have been for mother. <laughs> but I was a prodigy, casting simple spells by one. Completing complex incantations by three, Trump, resurrecting corpses by oh, seven. Ah! When I was 13, I accidentally yes, burned down the family home. Bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I mastered my gifts completely. So you're a mage. I went on to teach at the college. Left so after easy. two years. Too like simple. Guilty. Too Once safe. Again, the sweet None of them truly understood life. the glory of the destruction school. I gotcha. Right then. Hello, what's your name, Gabriella? New sister. May I offer my most sincere welcome your to our family. You're a dark elf. I'm an assassin without equal. It's nice to meet you, Gabriella. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. What can you tell me about yourself? What a curious question. 
Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. You give me too much In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. So, don't ask her about her past. That's uh, what we just learned from there. Um, I think there's two more. Somewhere. Down, down. What everyone else is saying. There is an Argonian <laughs> somewhere, and then a big old Brutish guy. Here's the Argonian. Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Born under the sign of the shadow. Gotcha. Once I was a shadow scale, an assassin in service to the king of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Gotcha. Kill well. All these people are just career murderers. That's cool. I picked it up later in life, but no judgment here. The Dragonborn murders a lot of people, but we also saved the world, so like we can we can afford to have a little, a little fun with this. Nazir is like the number two in command, I think. But generally, they just all like to kill people, it looks like. Hello, what are you? Oh, hey. Well, well, it's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. Oh, you're Astrid's wife. It's nice to meet you, Orange. Arn Bjorn. I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. What can you tell me about yourself? I might ask the same of you, for you are more than mortal. You are Moonborn. You are Wolf. So, you're a companion, then. I can't imagine you got your gift anywhere else. I hope you have better luck with them than I did. Oh, yes. I was once brother to the companions. Let's just say they found my methods unsettling. The Dark Brotherhood, obviously, feels differently. You just love killing. So, these are just a bunch of dudes who Later, love killing. On. But I guess he's also a, uh, werewolf. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. What can you tell me about yourself, Astrid? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. Gotcha. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Armbjorn, rose to leadership, and now here we are. Nice. Alrighty. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. I did later. They're all very later, dudes. Okay, let's go off and do our first murder. Hello. I've been looking for you. Got something. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Gotcha. Been a murder over in Riften. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children, Those poor children must be. We're gonna wait till night time, because every good assassin waits till night. That's what. It... That's what the Dragonborn has learned in her studies. This dude's just a beggar. But our bow will be left enough. We eliminated the, the threat.
one contract down. And he said that I could do them all and then turn them all in, so I'm gonna do that. Now I have the mine boss. And again, this is like this, the easy set of ones. Um, I've never been to Dawnstar, so maybe I'll do that one last. We'll do Papias. Papias is an ex miller at Angus Mill. I may use any means at my disposal. When I'm done, I'm to report back. Gotcha. Um, so this person's like in the middle of nowhere too. But let's go. I could probably, yeah, just search down this way, I guess. The first one was easy. He's in a town I've been to. Assassination 1 complete. Well, there's a dragon. So that might cause a little bit of confusion. I might have to kill a dragon and then assassinate a guy. use I thought I was using a, a shout what shout did I just use fire breath that was not fire breath gotcha oh well We're gonna make our way over to the middle. Probably wait till night again. Hello, goat. Storm cloaks. I'm not here. I'm not breaking the wall. I'm just here. Don't worry about me. Don't you worry. I'm just another person. That's a dragon. If you... If you don't make a problem, there won't be a problem, dragon. Oh, so it's that person just lying there. I might not even have to wait. That's what's easy. Dang, mud crab. Man. Just killed a man while he was chilling. Chilling next to. It's not really that close to his camp. Like, he's he's probably cold. Oh. It's just time to destroy. Hey, we're gonna kill this dragon. Sidetrack mode. Let's get him. Sure. He's all bloody. The Truth. It has a name. Bean Daru. It's a weak old bitch. You dead. It has a name and everything, and it was weak. Come at me, Bean Daruth. Huh. Oh, I'm out here assassinating. And just assassinating dragons like it's nothing. I wonder what it was fighting, because it was already injured. Yeah, it's interesting. It was already kind of injured, so like something was already attacking it. I don't know what it was, though. Alright, so we got one more. 
and it was somebody I've never somewhere I've never been so I'll go to the stables and the cart should be able to take me there I thought that was gonna be a more difficult fight but it was not Don stop ride? where do you want to go climb and back and we'll be off Climbing back and we'll be low. Little snow never stopped me. Don't worry. All right. We are in the city of Dawnstar, apparently. A little, little mining village, it looks like. It's already nighttime. Who is this guy? I'm no one special. Just a miner who swings a pickaxe for his drink. Got any ale or mead? Here you go. All right. Later, they Carl. That vampires attacked the Hall of the Vigilant. Burned it to the ground. Never heard of vampires doing anything like that before. You've come to Dawnstar at a strange time. My friend. favorite drink. Seems everyone in the town Let's is get some nightmares. mead. Interesting. Divine sakes, Gold. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. Your man Ulrich is wearing his old legion armor. What should I make of that? <laughs> He's proud of his service, Scald. The legion taught us loyalty, and we're loyal to Dawnstar. This isn't over. I catch you sending one letter to General Tullius. I'll have you both executed. You never talk much about yourself, do you, Horak? I swear, these past 30 years, you've been at my side, and I think I barely know you. What's to say? I was born on a farm, joined the Legion when I came of age, and I've served you ever since. Gotcha. What about your family? There must have been someone waiting for you back at the farm, wondering if you were ever coming home. No, can't say there was. My parents died when I was young. You and the Legion have been my only family since. I see. You're a good soldier, Horik. I'm sorry for intruding. You weren't. There's just not much to it. You come to Dawnstar at a bad time. Tempers are fiery. Not a single man or woman in Dawnstar has gotten a good night's rest in days. We keep having the same nightmare, over and over. If people aren't tired, they're angry. And if they aren't angry, they're afraid. It's made keeping order a mess. I hear Mara has sent one of her priests to the inn to try to calm people down, but I don't know how much words will do now. Did I see you arguing with someone? Scald supports Ulfric's rebellion, and he doesn't like having a couple of old legionnaires living in his town. He's a fool. A dragon has attacked Helgen. Dawnstar needs the Empire now more than ever. Alright. Stay out. The Jarl and I drowning your... As for work... You could try to catch Scald in a good mood, but your best bet would be working in the mines. They're on Alrighty. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. Um, I mean, you're just in the middle of the city. I can't just kill this lady. Can you go somewhere? Thank you. I'm really not in the mood. State your business or take your leave. State your business or take your leave. Alright, where'd you go? She went to her house. We're just in the middle of a city, man. We, we just, this is our first experience here. We're out here trying to murder someone. What has my life become? What are you doing, dude? Your ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is open in Medina. What? I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. Who's Silas and what's this museum? Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the mythic Dawn. The cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. 
His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. And now Silas is back, and this museum to the mythic dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. Who are they? Not a student of history, I see. This is the villains That's in Oblivion. The best. They're a group that should be forgotten. The only thing you need to know is that they almost destroyed the world. And they were stopped a long time ago. Gotcha. That museum Later. is a mistake. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Um. And here you are. Good. Come in. Browse the display and let's... Your loss. But if you change your mind, I'll be here. It's over here. I thought it was closer, I'm not going to lie. You saw the lady in half being happily married. Dreams are a reality. You are not worthy. Oh, okay, so that's a Dark Brotherhood place, but I don't have the password, essentially. What Deborah? Let's go murder this lady. You don't see anything. What's up? Who are you? Looking to hire a boat? Wait, you can do that? Where are you headed? Ah. All right. So I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know there was a boat. And I played this game quite a bit. And here comes oh. my first oh. visitor. Nope. Stop talking you're to me. Lost, but if you change your mind, I'll be here. Does this lady have a back door or like a cellar? Nope. No back doors. like 2 a.m. So we're going to break into this lady's house and murder her. For the brotherhood. We're also going to steal from her because we're thieves. It is contradictory, though, like, the main thing of, like, the Thieves Guild, which I'm also a part of, is that you don't kill. And then I'm part of the Dark Brotherhood. But it's just part of the Skyrim experience, you know? Can't do one and not the other. Alright, let's report back to Nazir. We got all three completed. That's cool. Those are uh, very easy. It's like our first mission. That was pretty easy. Oh, Nazir, where are you? The Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow. Her will. Would you dare risk disobedience and surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Huh. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes! Is he dancing? Thank you, thank you, thank you. He's dressed like a jester. 
But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress. Perfectly. You're the boss. Who the heck are you? Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. So, We've got some business to discuss. Do you have a contract for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the black sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Cool. Hello. Hello, Cicero. Ah, another member of the family. Hello. Hello. So very good to meet you. It's good to meet you too, Cicero. So polite, so nice. Cicero likes you. <laughs> the Night Mother is sure to like you too. Oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. What can you tell me about yourself? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. Look after our matron, you see, the night mother. I keep her clean and protected and <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. There is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her. Say. Interesting. That's weird. The word. <laughs> a listener? What's a listener? Oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Though, of course, our lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. <laughs> but inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our lady has not chosen Cicero. And certainly not Astrid. Or anyone. But someday. Gotcha. Why'd you come here? The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought our lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as keeper. Gotcha. What are the duties of a keeper? Oh, Cicero takes care of our lady's body. Oils it. Oh, that's gross. Preserves it. Keeps it safe. <laughs> Make sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. What? Who is the Night Mother? Which is the patron of this group? Oh, what? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, 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 you of course know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. <laughs> Tell me about the Sithis. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the void. The void of life. Okay, gotcha. Well. I'm gonna stop talking to this crazy guy. This jester. My innocent child's form grants me nearly unrestricted access. Hello, Nazir. So many contracts, so little time. Be it.
Bill is dead. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. <laughs> Stupid payment. puns. Alright, one contract. Okay. How went your meeting? 750 with gold? That's pretty good. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. <laughs> your payment for a job well done. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be. F Here's your payment. Still here. What's the matter? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. Uh, so what can you tell me about yourself, dude? Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim. That's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Gotcha. What are your thoughts on Cicero? I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, <laughs> jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. So their order... Go on now. ...worships the Night Mother, but none of them... It's kind of like someone they don't necessarily believe in, you know? They're, they believe in Astrid, someone they can actually see. But their order is based on the Night Mother. It's goddess or whatever you want to call her. Go. Take care of the Muiri contract. Alright, let's start heading our way to Makath. Alright. A guard may stop comeback if it's attack. Oh, it's too fast. I can't read that fast, man. Hello. Huh? Roger broke out of Silver thrown in. Silver blood in. A man like me makes, makes a lot of enemies. Plenty of strong drink trying and clean rooms. Hello. There's no shipments coming in, so I So my contact is Miuri. Why are you looking at Moyuri? me? Like that? The Dark Brotherhood Brotherhood has come. The Dark Brotherhood Oh oh I my goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked? Indeed. Obviously. What I need? What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. By this by Sith if I need details. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Rald Bathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. It will be done. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll... But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. I'm listening. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. Tell me the full story. Why do you want Elaine dead? I went to Windhelm to see the Shattershields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning, Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern while I was... Drinking my sadness away. He was handsome, 
and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family, in their grief, and rob them blind. Elaine used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of Gotcha, monster. gotcha. Elaine Dufont, don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova, a sister to Nelsin and Frigga. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That with Nilsin dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Gotcha. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. Interesting. All right, guys. Well, that's where we're going to go ahead as we move forward. We will go ahead and wrap up this episode. If you're enjoying this Dark Brotherhood content, uh, please like and subscribe as it helps me a lot. Um, but we'll pick up in the next episode. Uh, uh, the next part of the Dark Brotherhood mission moving forward next week. Uh, but as always, guys, have a good one.